ഡിയർ പാരൻസ് ഹാർവെസ്റ്റിൻ്റെ ഫൗണ്ടേഷൻ കോഴ്സിലെ വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾ എടുത്ത ചില വീഡിയോ ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ ഈ ഓൺലൈൻ പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോമിലൂടെ ഞങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മുന്നിൽ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു എട്ടാം ക്ലാസ്സിലെ വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾ അവർക്ക് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് വിവിധ സബ്ജക്റ്റുകളിൽ നിന്ന് പല പാഠഭാഗങ്ങൾ പഠിപ്പിച്ചതിന് ശേഷം ആ കണ്ടൻ്റ് എല്ലാം കൃത്യമായിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാക്കി അവരൊരു ടീച്ചറായി ആ ക്ലാസ്സിലെ കുട്ടികൾ ഒരു ടീച്ചേഴ്സായിട്ട് ആ ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ എടുക്കുകയാണ് ചെയ്തത് അവർ എത്രത്തോളം ആ കണ്ടൻറ്റ് മനസ്സിലാക്കി എത്ര നന്നായിട്ട് അവരത് പെർഫോം ചെയ്തു എന്നെല്ലാം തന്നെ നമ്മുടെ മക്കളുടെ ഈ വീഡിയോ ക്ലാസ്സസിലൂടെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവുന്നതാണ് അതിൽ പോരായ്മകൾ ഉണ്ടാവാം പക്ഷേ ഹാർവെസ്റ്റ് അതിനെ സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യും കാരണം ഈ മക്കൾ നാളെയുടെ ഭാവി വാഗ്ദാനങ്ങളാണ് അവരിൽ ഒരുപാട് സ്വപ്നങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ട് നടക്കുന്ന മക്കളുണ്ട് ഇനിയുള്ള സമൂഹത്തെ നയിക്കേണ്ട ഒരുപാട് പേര് അതിലുണ്ട് അപ്പം അതിൻ്റെ ചെറിയ ചെറിയ ചില തെറ്റുകളിലേക്ക് നമ്മൾ വിരൽ ചൂണ്ടുന്നില്ല പകരം അവരുടെ ആ ധൈര്യത്തെയും അവർ ആ ക്ലാസ് പ്രസൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അവർ കാണിച്ചെടുത്ത ആ ഒരു താല്പര്യത്തെയുമാണ് ഹാർവെസ്റ്റ് മുന്നിൽ കാണുന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ട് അവർക്ക് വേണ്ട എല്ലാവിധ സപ്പോർട്ടും ഹാർവെസ്റ്റ് ഇതിലൂടെ നൽകുകയാണ് ഇനി വരാൻ പോകുന്ന ഒരുപാട് കോമ്പറ്റേറ്റീവ് എക്സാമിലേക്ക് പ്രിപ്പയർ ചെയ്യുന്ന കുട്ടികളുണ്ട് ഈ കൂട്ടത്തിൽ ഇതെല്ലാം അവർക്കൊരു മോട്ടിവേഷനാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്കറിയാവുന്നത് പോലെ തന്നെ ഒരാൾ ഒരു കണ്ടന്റ് മറ്റൊരാളുടെ മുന്നിൽ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോഴാണ് അയാളത് നന്നായിട്ട് പഠിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പം ഈ കുട്ടികളെല്ലാം തന്നെ ആ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് വളരെ കൃത്യമായിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയെടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്ന് ഞങ്ങൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കുന്നു അതോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ ഇനി അവർക്ക് അവരുടെ അക്കാഡമിക് പെർഫോമൻസിന് വേണ്ട എല്ലാവിധ സപ്പോർട്ടും ഹാർവെസ്റ്റ് നൽകുന്നു നിങ്ങളും അവരുടെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് അവരെ കൂട്ടിച്ചേർത്ത് പഠിക്കുക അവർക്ക് വേണ്ട എല്ലാവിധ സപ്പോർട്ടും നൽകുക ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഹാർവെസ്റ്റിൻ്റെ ഈ വീഡിയോ ക്ലാസ്സസിൽ വന്ന കുട്ടികളെ ഞങ്ങൾ ഈ ഒരു പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോമിൽ നിന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പരിചയപ്പെടുത്താം Hi friends, my name is Mahana and I'm studying in 9th standard. I'm from Harvest Foundation. So today I'm going to take the chapter Structure of an Atom. Regarding to this chapter, we first we want to study about what is matter. We all know that matter is anything which occupies space and possesses mass. First we want to study what is matter. Matter is anything. which occupy a space uh, for example this is talk and this have a space to occupy and also a mass so this is a matter and everything we see in, uh, around us is also a matter so matter is anything which occupy space and forces mass so this is the simple definition of matter so matter is constituted by tiny extremely small particles called atom atom is extremely small particles small particles okay this is that so first i'm going to tell you a theory that suggested by dalton dalton's theory of an atom dalton says that um, the atom over the matter is constituted by small tiny particles called atom which is indivisible and indestructible but later experiments in 18th and 19th suggested that atom is made up of three subatomic particles subatomic particles means electrons protons and neutrons these are the uh, three subatomic particles uh, its full form uh, this is the it's denoted by these letters e minus means negative sign electron is negatively charged particles and proton e 
sorry p plus means positive proton is positively charged particles and next is neutron neutron is chargeless or it's neutral it's neutral and these are the three subatomic particles which is constituted in the atom uh, the charge of the atom is the charge of the atom is uh, neutral because of the equal number of electron and proton the number of electron and proton are equal so the atom is neutral the atom is one neutral okay so the, the discovery of electron is led by the jj thomson electron was discovered by jj thomson he represent its electron it is uh, represent by e minus and the charge of electron is minus 1 unit and the mass of electron is negligible it's very small uh, it's negligible so tj thomson discovered electron by a cathode ray experiment cathode ray experiment uh, he uh, discovered the electron uh, by cathode ray experiment okay you will study cathode ray experiment higher classes more and this was a uh, electron was discovered by jj thomson okay next uh, dalton theory was fault and for explaining how the atom how the inside of the atom is arranged many scientists proposed many a uh, model of an atom the first one to propose a model of an atom is jj thomson he proposed plum pudding model of an atom plum pudding or christmas pudding he uh, he said that the the whole uh, electrically no it's contain a electrical uh, positive sphere and electrons are embedded in it sorry he said that the uh, it's its structure of a plum pudding or christmas pudding model he proposed a plum pudding or christmas pudding model uh, it's contain a positive sphere and the electrons are embedded in it and he said that the mass of electron is 1 by 2000 mass of proton so thomson say that the uh, mass of electron is 1 by 2000 that of the mass of proton and this is all the informations about electron electron was discovered by jj thomson and electron is uh, indicated by e minus and it's uh, negligible its mass is negligible and its charge is minus 1 unit so next we was studying about what is proton proton p plus this plus sign indicates that this proton is positively charged uh, the charge of proton is plus 1 unit and the mass of proton is 1 unit the proton was discovered by e goldstein or eugene goldstein Team. He discovered this by when J J Thomson discovered uh, the electron by cathode ray experiment. Likewise, the uh, E Goldstein discovered a proton by an experiment. It's called anode ray experiment. Anode ray experiment is a it's used by the positive and he discovered the proton and by anode ray E Goldstein discovered. Proton or P plus.
so uh, we talked about the neutrons which is discovered uh, sorry we talk about the electrons which is discovered by uh, jj thomson and proton which is discovered by e goldstein and next we want to study is neutron uh, it's indicated by n small letter n sorry neutron So neutron was discovered by, by James Chadwick. Mm. For neutrons, there uh, is no mean uh, definitions and all. It's neutral. Uh, the charge is neutral, and its mass is one unit as equivalent to proton. Okay. This is the neutrons. It was discovered by James Chadwick, and it is uh, neutral. Its charge is neutral, and its mass is one unit as equivalent to proton. So we uh, we studied about uh, Dalton's theorem of atomic. Uh, so, uh, it means Dalton discovered an um, atomic theory, and he said that the atom is uh, can. Uh, Matter is constituted of atom which is indivisible and indestructible, and also uh, the later experiments uh, show that the, at the theory of Dalton was wrong. And then, till then, that J. J. Thomson discovered, uh, and he is he postulated. He was the first scientist to postulate an um, what atomic theory, what which is called um, plum pudding or Christmas pudding model. Plum pudding. Or Christmas pudding model. Christmas pudding model he discovered, and we're gonna study about the what are the postulate or what are he discovered by that model, and what are the drawbacks of J. J. Thomson by his plum pudding model or Christmas pudding model. Postulates or. J. J. Thompson. His plum pudding model. Okay. He said that the atom contains a more electrically neutral positive sphere. And also, he said that the elect means electron negatively charged electrons are embedded in it. He said that the atom was uh, like this, and the it contains a whole positive sphere, and uh, the electrons are embedded in it. And he was postulated like this, and he is atom means it look like a. Plum pudding, which uh, uh, the cake and the seeds, or oh, means like dry foods are embedded, like a, a model, a plum pudding model. He was discovered, and later, but um, he also said that the this was electrically neutral. Means magnitude it was electrically neutral. It was electrically neutral. He said that the number of uh, elect means positively charged and negatively charged are uh, equal in each other. And he also said that uh, the magnitude is equal, and so this is uh, is electrically neutral. Sorry, electrically neutral. This was uh, the theory of J. J. Thomson. He said that uh, this plum pudding model and contains a whole electric I means a positive sphere and the electrons are embedded in it and this is electrically neutral which is magnitude is equal and he also uh, this are the model of J J Thomson atomic theory. So now we can say what are the drawbacks or what are the main mistakes of his theory of uh, plum pudding model of an atom. Next topic is canal rays. Canal rays are positively charged radiation. 
फर्स्ट द कनाल रेज आर फर्स्ट एवरी चार्ज रेडिएशन एंड दिस वॉज कंडक्टेड बाय ई कॉलस्टीन एंड ही वॉज ऑल्सो ही वॉज कंसिस्टेड प्रॉप्ट ऑन बाई दिस मेथड एंड ही इन अ डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब दिस रे लेट टू डिस्कवरी ऑफ प्रॉपर इन अ डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब he discovered this positively charged radiation that is covered e by e equals c in a discharge tube and this led to the discovery of proton so this was the discovery this led he i, we, I said that the e equals c discovered the proton and he by anotric experiment and this is and canal rays and this canal rays are called um uh this name was given by colstein because this passed through a um, holes or canals this passed through a holes or canals so e colstein named this uh, rays as canal rays this led to the discovery of proton so uh, this we studied that dalton storm theory proton neutron electron and we are going to study canal rays and we studied that canal rays is positively charged rays and this uh, was discharged in a l it was this uh ah this was a discharge tube and in this was discharge tube and this ray led to the discovery of proton and this ray called the canal rays because this passes through the canals or holes okay so next topic we going to study we say that the drawbacks of uh, uh we going to study the drawbacks of thomson's model so what are the drawbacks of thomson's model and atom he said about the neutrality of an atom but he didn't say uh, i mean these experiments was led by uh, many scientists and scientists couldn't say how this uh, was discovered and he couldn't explain it so it was the main uh, drawbacks of the thomson's model of an atom scientists uh, he couldn't answer what uh, the science is discovered and and science couldn't explain by this model this model couldn't explain the structure of an atom by other scientists and this is the main uh, main drawback of this he couldn't uh, sorry science couldn't explain his mod he he says that the uh, atom contain a wall positive sphere and uh, the negatively charged electrons are embedded in it but later scientists couldn't explain how the model of an atom was discovered and how uh, this model an atom is uh, postulated by thomson said uh, this was plum pudding and the scientists couldn't explain by this model this was the main drawback of the thomson's model of an atom so next we going to study a second scientist which came to a model of an atom uh, uh model of an atom the third model of an atom or alpha scattering experiment so alpha scattering experiment was led by the rutherford and rutherford take an alpha particles which and also a gold tin gold foil he chose gold foil because he want a thin sheet as possible but but it contains a hun, uh, means thousands atom thick and alpha particles was uh, positively charged the helium nuclei if uh, if the gold foil has thousands atom thick but uh, our helium uh, sorry our alpha particles consist of four unit mass and plus two unit uh, two uh, charge sorry plus two charge and uh, it is so the thousand uh, atom thick is not bothered to the alpha particles so he uh, he want to know how the atom or how the inside of an atom is arranged so he take an uh, alpha particle experiment for explaining how the atoms or how the sorry how the uh, inside the atom electrons and protons are arranged or how to know that the uh, neutrons or where is there anything else in the atom so he proposed 
and alpha particle scattering experiment. Next, we want to study about the Rutherford uh, alpha particle scattering experiment. Rutherford discovered and he said that the atom contains a positive sphere uh, inside an atom and the electrons are moved in a circular path. He proposed a model uh, like this and he said that uh, there is a positive sphere in the center and the electrons are moving in a circular path. But it was his first uh, word slate, but uh, when he, is, uh, when he, uh, he expected that the um, alpha particles were um, bounce back and it deflect get better. But the experiment gave a totally unexpected result that one out of 12, uh, means, sorry, 20, uh, 2000 or only bounce back in, it's bounce back in only 180 degree and uh, another some of the uh, particles were bouncing in a small angle and other go in a straight line. The Rutherford said that uh, his postulate was the postulate about uh, it, uh, this is the structure of the alpha particles. This is the uh, alpha. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. This is not alpha particles. This is the atom, um, gold foil. This is the nucleus, which is proposed uh, by positively uh, sender this is nucleus and this is the alpha particles some of uh, only bounce back then another go in a straight line one out of 2000 just only bounce back and so more of the uh, alpha particles which go in a straight line these uh, these discovery or these or thing led and said our brother Ford said that his postulate was that this I could write in the word postulates are brother Ford model of an atom. postulate about Rutherford model and atom is the most of the space inside the atom is empty so it uh, gone in a straight line because of that uh, because of the empty place inside the atom he said the Rutherford said that the uh, alpha particles were gone straight and some of uh, some of the alpha particles were uh, bounced back in a small angle a small angle and one out of the 2000 uh, uh, means alpha particles were uh, made head, head on collision in 180 degree because of the positively charged uh, alpha particle helium nuclei uh, were uh, passed through and it contains a positively charged uh, sender so it when a positively charged alpha particles were touched in the positively charged sender it gets repelled he uh, discovered most of the alpha particles were gone straight so uh, he he says that the there contains an atom contains a positively charged sender uh, which he named it as nucleus the positively charged center is uh, named by Rutherford as nucleus. He also said that the all mass uh, inside the atom is reside in the in, in the nucleus, and uh, since the mass of the uh, electrons is negligible, I uh, we all know that the mass of the electron is negligible, and it cannot uh, uh, occupy all the mass. So uh, our Nucleus uh, resides all the mass of the atom. The radius of the atom, uh, sorry, the radius of the nucleus is smaller than the radius of the atom. So the radius of the atom is 
10 raised to minus 10 meter. So, radius of the nucleus inside an atom. Nucleus inside the atom is 10 raised to minus 15 meter. These all are the postulate by Rutherford. Rutherford said that the most of the uh, space inside the atom is uh, empty and some of the alpha particles were bounced back in little angles uh, and uh, the uh, alpha particles which made head on collision in is out of 1 out of 2000 which make 180 degree because the positive uh, there is a positively charged center and the positively charged alpha particles get rip, uh, rippled. So now we are going to study what are the drawbacks of Rutherford model of an atom. The first drawback of Rutherford model of an atom, he couldn't explain about the stability of an atom. Couldn't explain. So first, first he couldn't explain how the stability of an atom. Uh, by the Maxwell theory of radiation, we know that the, when electrons move through a circular path, this was the model of a uh, the four model of an atom and uh, electrons move he said that the solar system uh, which moves around the sun, uh, in the planets revolves around the sun like the electrons revolving around the nucleus but when uh, the new like electron re revolves in a circular path it would radiate out the energy and it could spirally come to the nucleus and it become unstable we know that the atom is stable and so this cannot uh, this cannot be explained by Rutherford. This was the main drawback about Rutherford. He couldn't explain the stability of an atom. So we studied about J.J. Thompson uh, plum pudding model of an atom and now we have been studying the Rutherford alpha particles by scattering experiment. He discovered the nucleus. The main thing uh, in this, uh, this model of an atom is he discovered the nucleus and he gave an idea more, uh, val more um, valuable idea and how it looks and he gave and, and he also said that the box is uh, center is inside an atom. He said his structure was like this and positive sphere and this. And that's all for uh, Rutherford model of an atom. So we studied about the drawbacks of Rutherford model. So I would take next topic at uh, next class. So I'll continue at next class. So have a nice day. Bye. So I hope you understand everything that I uh, teach you. And thank you. That's all. Bye. Bye. Bye.